Hi there and welcome. This is Ganesh from Learn English Lab and in this lesson we're going to look at the difference between the words lie and lay. Now these are two words that a lot of people, including many native English speakers, often find very confusing. So today we're going to clear up these two words. Now to begin, let's make sure that we know what these two words actually mean. The word lay means to put something down gently. So let's say I have a bunch of keys and I put them down on a table. I can say that I lay the keys on the table. Remember that lay doesn't mean uh, to throw or drop something. So if I throw the keys on the table, I cannot say that I lay the keys. But if I put them down gently, then I can use the word lay. The word lie means to recline. Now what does that mean? This means, for example, to lie down. Like when you go to sleep at night and you lie down on your bed. So that's the word lie. So lay, put something down gently, and lie to recline. All right, now we're going to talk about the more confusing part. And of course, we're going to make it less confusing. Uh, here, I've got the word lay, and we're going to talk about its different verb forms. And over here, I've got some examples to help you understand these. Now, the present tense of the verb lay is lay. Simple enough. So, have a look at this uh, example over here. Uh, please lay the spoon next to the knife. That means, please take the spoon and put it gently next to the knife. Okay, so that's the present tense form of the verb. Now, the past tense form of the verb lay is laid, as in this example. Let's say this happened uh, yesterday. Yesterday I got home and I I laid the keys on the table. This happened in the past, and we're using the past tense form of the verb lay. <clears throat> now the past participle form, remember that every verb has three forms, present, past, and past participle. Some teachers like to call these V1, V2, and V3 as well. And the past participle form of the verb lay is also laid. So no difference between these two. They're the same. Okay. Lay, laid, and laid. So here, uh, this is a sentence that we have in the present perfect tense. So we're going to use the past participle form. She has laid the baby in his bed. That means she has just taken the baby and she wanted to put him to sleep, so she took him to the bed and she gently put him down in his bed and tucked him in, and now the baby's sleeping. So she has laid the baby in his bed. Now one thing I want you to notice here is that the verb lay is a transitive verb. What does that mean? In all of these examples, the verb lay is taking an object. So if you look here, please lay the spoon. The spoon is the object of the verb lay. So here we have an object. Now what about here? I laid the keys. The keys are the object. She has laid the baby. Once again, object. So, lay is always going to be a transitive verb. All right, so that's the word lay, lay, laid, and laid. Oh, but what's this over here? This is the present participle form, which is just a fancy way of saying the ing form, and I thought it was important for you to know this. The ing form is simply 
laying, just with the ing added to the end. So for example, she was laying the baby in bed while the phone rang, all right? All right, now let's move on and look at the verb lie. All right, here I've got the word lie, and we'll talk about its verb forms and some examples. And here is actually where it starts to get interesting. Now, the present form of the verb lie is simple enough, just like the verb lay. It's just lie. So, uh, take a look at this example. It's a sentence in the present simple tense. When I get home from work, I just lie on my sofa and watch TV. This is something I do every day. So I get home from work at 6 p.m. and as soon as I get home, I just jump on my sofa and I just lie there and watch TV. Now the past tense form of the verb lie is spelled L-A-Y and it's pronounced lay just like this word over here. However, these two words have no connection whatsoever. This is a separate word, and this is a separate word. They're not related, they're not cousins, or they're not aunt and nephew. They're not related in any way, okay? Um, have a look at this example over here. This is an example in the past tense. She lay in bed all night thinking about the interview. So maybe she had an interview on Monday, Monday morning, and all of Sunday night she just lay in bed. She couldn't sleep. She was really nervous, so she was just thinking about the interview all night. The lay that we're using over here is the past tense of the verb lie. The lay over here means to put something down gently, okay? Remember that they are separate words. Now you might be thinking, how do I know the difference when I see the word in a sentence? The way you know the difference is based on the context, that is based on the situation. Now here, when you see she lay in bed all night, what does that mean? She was lying down. It's, it's, this sentence is not talking about putting anything down. It's talking about lying down, right? So you tell the difference based on the sentence. All right, now the past participle of the verb lie is lain. Now before you get all confused, I'm going to say this is not so common. So if you have trouble remembering this lain, don't worry too much about it. Okay, don't stress about it. We'll still look at an example. Uh, this example here is in the past perfect tense. So present perfect, past perfect, we're going to use the past participle form. George had lain there for five hours when they finally found him. So maybe George had a car accident. He was driving somewhere and he had a car accident and the ambulance only came five hours after the accident. So George had lain there for five hours when they finally came and found him. All right, now the present participle form of the verb lie is lying. Notice the difference in spelling between laying and lying. There's an A here and no A here. That's important to remember. Now if you look at this, um, let's take a very simple example. There's a cot, there's a bed over there. Who's that lying in the cot? Why, it's my grandmother. So my grandmother is lying in that cot, right? There's uh, another thing I want you to notice here, and that is, you remember that I told you that the word lay, that this verb is transitive, that is, it takes an object. It always takes an object. We lay the keys down. We lay the baby down. Okay, or we lay a pen down. The word lie is in 
transitive. Now, what does that mean? That means that this verb never takes an object. Uh, have a look over here. When I get home from work, I just lie on my sofa. There's no object. I'm not lying anything. I'm lying on my sofa, right? So no object. Same thing over here. She lay in bed, all right? And George had lain there for five hours. There is no object. So this is always intransitive. And this is another way that you can know the difference between these two. This will always be transitive, will always take an object. This always intransitive. All right. <clears throat> now you might be wondering, the word lie has one other meaning. Do you know that other meaning? Well, that meaning is to say something false. That is also a meaning of the word lie. So if I tell you that I'm seven feet tall, that's a lie. I'm lying to you because I'm not seven feet tall. Okay. Now, if this word is used in that other meaning, meaning to say something false, then the past tense would be lied. And the past participle would also be lied. Okay. Lie, lied, lied, lying. So I lied to you about my height. I'm not seven feet tall. Okay. But that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about lay to put something down, lie to recline, remember. So in that meaning, it's lie, lay, lane, and lie. All right. Here, I've got some practice sentences for you. And your job for each of these sentences is to take the correct word from the table and put it in the blank. Okay, and we've got four sentences. Let's look at the first one. Tom, will you mm, the carpet on the floor? Now here, Tom needs to put the carpet on the floor. So will you say lay or lie? Well, we need the verb lay. But what form of the verb lay should we put here? Well, this is a question, so we're going to take the present tense or the base form of the verb. So, Tom, will you lay the carpet on the floor? All right. Exercise number two. It's not good to mm down immediately after a meal. What are we looking for? Lay or lie? Well, here we're talking about after you have a meal, it's not good to lie. So it's not good to lie down immediately after a meal. But right, here's a tricky one. The bricks need to be mm today. What are we talking about here? Well, let's say uh, we're building a new building and uh, today we need to put the bricks to uh, build. Uh, so the word we're looking for is lay. But we can't put this form here because this is in the passive voice. Now when you have a sentence in the passive voice, you need the past participle form. So the bricks need to be laid today. Did you get that one? Right, number four is Sophia mm, down and went to sleep. So Sophia lay or lie? What tense is the sentence in? Well, it's in, it's in the past tense. So Sophia lay down and went to sleep. And remember, this lay is the past tense of lie, and this lay means to put something down. Right. How many of those did you get right? Uh, if you have any questions or any comments, let me know in the comments section, and I will see you in another video.